Hello everyone, this is Akai Fox again with another painting episode. This painting was actually done on Valentine's Day. And instead of doing something that was traditional for Valentine's Day, I just wanted something red. So as we approached this painting, I wanted to make sure that not only was it something that could be Valentine's Day, could be love, but I have also noticed a trend that if I pick something that has cherry blossoms, sakura trees, whatever you'd like to call it, that it tends to do a little bit better. So I wanted something not only just red, but I wanted something different when it came to how I approached the cherry blossoms in this particular painting. So you can see we've dedicated a very big red moon sun, you can call it what you'd like, and it's in front of water giving some reflections. I wanted to keep the color scheme or the color palette in this particular painting a little more mute and allow the cherry blossoms in this particular tree to really shine and to really pop. I debated with a few different colors on how we wanted to specifically do this tree and ultimately I came up with that I wanted to do white, but I felt like I've done traditional cherry blossoms quite often recently and so I wanted to stretch and to put myself outside of my comfort zone which has been a theme lately and tr try something different. I saw an image where someone had done some cascading or waterfall style cherry blossoms. I'm sure there's a specific name and so I wanted to approach it that way and typically as I do art or paintings, I'll have a couple different images up for inspiration and for ideas. And in this particular one, I chose to do my own style of tree. And I'm very happy overall with how it turned out. You can see I'm going back in and I'm making rocks and highlights and lowlights. And I wanted to make sure that this felt something uniquely me. And I think it paid off really well trying something new. Um, but of course, you'll have to let me know here at the end. So um, coming in, trying to make that bark stand out just a little bit more with some low gray kind of off-white. But again, I wanted to make sure that all of the branches um, were inside of the moon, sun. I never did decide what it is. You can tell me what it is. Is it a sun or is it a moon? And it's so funny because I have a brush that I, I ended up putting away that I normally use for cherry blossom trees. Um, but it is uh, deformed. I don't know how else to really talk about it as much. I think at one moment I do show it in either this video or I, I know I showed it on stream. Um, it's basically a brush that is permanently mushed, so it splays all of the, what would you call fibers, brushes, bristles, that's the word I was looking for. And it makes for really great cherry blossoms, um, but I do think I came back in with a different brush. Um, a little bit later because I really just wanted to give those definitions of the, the cherry blossoms themselves. So, um, but yeah, this is how it ended up turning out. I really, really enjoyed doing something unique, something different, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you guys so much. As always, I do these paintings live if you want to join me on a Friday. Sometimes we do digital art. And here's where you can find all my socials. I do these lives on Twitch specifically. So thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic weekend.